A data center is the brains of the internet. The engine of the internet. It is a giant building with a lot of power, a lot of cooling, and a lot of computers. It's row upon row upon row of machines, all working together to provide the services that make Google function. I love building and operating data centers. I'm Joe Cava, Vice President of Data Centers at Google. I'm responsible for managing the teams globally that design, build, and operate Google's data centers. We're also responsible for the environmental health and safety, sustainability, and carbon offsets for our data centers. This data center here in, in South Carolina is one node in a larger network of data centers all over the world. Of all the employees at Google, a very, very small percentage of those employees are authorized to even enter a data center campus. The men and women that run these data centers and keep them up 24 hours a day, seven days a week, they are incredibly passionate about what they're doing. In layman's terms, what do I do here? I typically refer to myself as the herder of cats. And I'm an engineer, hardware site operations manager. We keep the lights on and we enjoy doing it and they work very hard. So we like to provide them a fun environment where they can also play hard as well. We just went past the three million man hour mark for zero lost time incidents. Three million man hours is a really long time and with the number of people that we have on site, that is an amazing accomplishment. I think the Google data centers really can offer a level of security that almost no other company can in those coils and then that warm water is then brought outside the data center to our cooling plant 
where it is cooled down through our cooling towers and returned back to the data center, and that process just repeats over and over again. To me, the thing that amazes me about Google and the data centers is the pace of innovation and always challenging the way we're doing things. So when people say that innovation in a certain area is done, that we've kind of reached the pinnacle of what can be achieved, I just laugh.